located at the border of Egypt and Sudan, in northeastern Africa, lies one of the last unclaimed lands on earth with no permanent residence and governed by no laws. Bertawal is a triangle of rough terrain that is not claimed by any country in the world, not even Sudan or Egypt. But how did this land come to be? And could someone commit a crime here and get away with it? And the most asked question, could anyone ever claim the land and build his own empire there? Synonymous with many border disputes, which are as a result of imprecise borders, it all traces back to the United Kingdom who demarcated the borders. By 1899, Britain had become increasingly involved in Egypt, and Sudan was under the control of Egypt for a while, which led to the decision to divide the two. While drawing the first border, a pattern similar to how European powers drew up the rest of Africa was used, a straight line without any consideration whatsoever. But it didn't take long before the British recognized their mistake. In 1902, they redrew the maps with a different approach, along administrative lines with consideration of ethnic differences and their traditional land use. Sudan was given lands north of the original border, with some more access to the Red Sea, and inhabited by the Beja tribe, known as the Halayib Triangle while Egypt was given the southern piece of land called the Bertawal Triangle inhabited by the Ababda. This brings us to the land claimed by both countries, the Halayab Triangle. As a result of this remake of the border, two principal areas were highlighted, the Halayab Triangle and the Bertawal Triangle. Egypt has ever since recognized the 1899 boundary that highlights the Halayab Triangle as its territory, and Sudan has recognized the 1902 boundary that highlights the Halayab Triangle as its territory, with neither willing to accept Bertawal as it would undermine their respective claims to Halayab. As a consequence, Bertawal exists as a land between two modern nation-states, which is one of the few areas that bear the name of no man's land. It is quite bizarre why not one country claims it, but the main reason could be because the area is located in the middle of the Sahara Desert, while the Halayab Triangle isn't just a patch of desert, but instead, it is located on the Red Sea, providing fishing access, and also has mining potential. So, this bids a question, could someone commit a crime here and walk away with it? While it's true that no country would enforce a law in the area, it most certainly depends on the type of crime. If, for instance, you murder a citizen of another country, that country would act out to bring you to justice because the citizens of a country are protected by the laws of that particular country. This could also apply to you because since you are a citizen of a specific country, the country could prosecute you for certain crimes, even if they were committed outside of it. Now, could someone go and claim ownership of Bertawal and build his own country? The status of this land has triggered a long list of adventurers, each trying to make their own history by creating their own kingdoms. The most notable was Jeremiah Heaton, a U.S. citizen who traveled to Bertawal in 2014, hoisted his own flag, and laid claim to the land as a sovereign monarchy, and named it the Kingdom of North Sudan. Heaton later claimed that the reason for establishing the state was to fulfill his six-year-old daughter's wish of becoming a princess, which would also make him the King of Bertawal. What the United Nations had to say about this was that it was not their role to define borders and that the recognition of a country is something that's done bilaterally among neighboring countries. The issue of the Bertawal still poses an interesting challenge for both legal scholars and international organizations. Although the claims that the land is uninhabited, the Ababda tribe still considers it as their native homeland and are are very far from accepting all the people's claims to their land. Due to Sudan's recent political struggles, Egypt appears to have been slowly gaining control of the Halayab Triangle, but because of the area's population being more closely linked to Sudan, this is unlikely to be well received. The Birtawal, therefore, still remains unclaimed, however, the strongest claim may belong to the nomadic tribes that dwell there, 